And so today we are looking at lead code number 785 is graph by part type. And this is a very popular question. We can see that uh, Facebook in the last six months uh, has asked it 16 times, eBay, ByteDance, Amazon. And uh, so yeah, let's get into it. So is graph bipartite? First we gotta figure out what is a bipartite graph? So given an undirected graph, return true if and only if it is bipartite. Recall that a graph is bipartite if we can split it's if we can split its set of nodes into two independent subsets A and B such that every edge in the graph has one node in A and another in B. The graph is given in the following form graph of index I is a list of indices J for which the edge between the nodes I and J exists. Each node is an integer between 0 and graph.length minus 1. There are no self edges or parallel edges. Graph at index I does not contain I and it does not contain any element twice. Okay, so right off the bat, we can look at this input that they're giving us, and they're giving us an input of a graph in an adjacency list. This is essentially an adjacency list, so here at the zeroth index of this array, the edges are one and three. It's connected, the zeroth index is connected to node one and node three. Here at the first index, so the one index here, it's representing this node, its connections are zero and two. So you can see the one node here, its connection is to zero and to two, and so forth and so forth. And what we want to figure out, if it's bipartite, what is bipartite? It means that every node, every edge has to be in an in opposite group. Okay, so if we put if we put zero in group A, then one has to be in group B. If, if one is in group B, then two has to be in group A. If two is in group A, then three has to be in group B. And if three is in group B, then zero again has to be in group A. So every edge here has to be able to be in either group A or B, but it cannot be in the same group. Okay, so let me make this a little more clear. We'll draw out the input here. So here we have zero is connected to one is connected to two, is connected to three, and this is connected to, connected back to zero. And if we look here, we can see that if we put zero in A, one in B, two in A, and three in B, then every edge here, every edge here is connected either to A or B, but not to itself, not to A, and A. And if we look at the other example here, this is false. This is not bipartite. Okay? Because here we have 0, 1, 2, 3, but we also have this connection between 0 and 2. And that that makes it not bipartite. And we'll draw it out here just to make it a little more clear. So here we have graph 2, which is very similar to the first one. And we're going to have 0, which is connected to 1, 1, which is connected to 2, 2, which is connected to 3, and 3, which is connected back to 0. But we also have this connection over here between 0 and 2. Now, let's take a look at our example that we did before. If 0 is in group A, 1 is in group B, 2 is in group A, and 3 is in group B, we can see that we have a connection we have a connection between A and A, and that means that it cannot be bipartite. Okay, so that's the key thing that we want to figure out is if there is a connection between A and A. Now, one other example I want I want to take a look at. I want you guys to take a look at is what if what if we have a tree. So remember, a tree is just a graph without any cycles. Okay, so what if we have one, two, three, we'll just do one over here, and then we have four and five. Okay, we could even have a six here. So now we have these six nodes, and we want to figure out, is this bipartite? Well, let's take a look at this. 
if this is in group A, this is in group B, this is going to be in group B, this is going to be in group B, this is A, this is A, and this is A. So there are no nodes in this entire tree that are connected to the same group. Okay, Every edge here is either connected to a B or an A, but not itself. A is not connected to A anywhere in this tree, and B is not connected directly to B. And one thing I want you to know is, so if there's no cycles and we have a tree, then it is a bipartite graph. However, if we have a cycle, okay, if we have a graph, and let's say we have a connection between, between 6 and, and 3, that is also bipartite. Because again, there's no connection between A and A or B and B. This connection right here is between A and B. Okay, so if we have a level order cross edge, okay, so this is going to be this is our L1, L2, and L3. And if we have a cross edge that crosses levels, okay, then it can be bipartite. However, if we have an edge that is in the same level, then it cannot be bipartite because here we do have a connection between B and B. Okay, another way to think about this is if there's a cycle in the graph and it's an odd length cycle, then it cannot be bipartite. But if it's an even length cycle, then it can be bipartite. Okay, so it's really important to, to, to make sure that you got a clear grasp on that, on what we're trying to figure out in this graph. Okay, so let's, let's try to code this up. So, is bipartite, okay? So what we wanna do is we wanna traverse over this graph and we wanna figure out if there's an odd length cycle. If there's an odd length cycle in this graph, that means it is not bipartite. We wanna return false. And if we can traverse through every single node in the graph and not find an odd length cycle, then we can assume that this graph is indeed bipartite, okay? So we're going to go ahead and we already have our input as a graph, so we don't need to build the adjacency list. So we can just go ahead and create our visited. const visited, I'll just make this an object. And then we're going to want a distance. Okay, and this will make more sense once we get into the traversal part of the code. And so what we're going to do now is we're going to just follow our basic template for traversing through a graph. Okay, we're going to let our vertex equal zero. Vertex is less than graph.length and vertex plus plus. And what we want to do here is check if we have visited this vertex. If we have not visited this vertex, then what we want to do is we want to check, well first, uh, yeah, so we want to check if is graph bipartite, and we're going to go ahead and put in the uh, vertex, the graph, the visited, and the distance. And if the graph is not bipartite, if we traverse through this graph from this particular vertex, from this starting node, and we find that it is not bipartite at any point in that traversal, then we want to just go ahead and exit out of it and return false. And if we traverse through the entire graph and we cannot find an odd cycle, then we can assume that the graph is indeed uh, bipartite and will return true. Okay, so that's the main function code, not too, not too complicated. And now we just want to create a helper function to traverse from every particular vertex and check do we have an odd cycle. Okay, so what we're going to do is const graph bipartite, and we're going to have our node, our graph, our visited, and our distance. Okay, and
and we're going to do a breadth first uh, search traversal method here. So we're going to go ahead and create a, a queue. And we'll put in that node. And then we'll also add the visited of this node and set that to true. And we're going to set the distance to zero. So distance at index of node, we're going to set that to zero because it's going to be the root node. So the distance to the source node is going to be zero. Now we're going to do uh, our very, very familiar breadth first search traversal. Q dot length. Okay, and we're going to shift off uh, the node from the queue. So we can call that current node. Let current node is going to be Okay, and we're going to add this current node to visited. And we'll set that to true. Okay, and now we want to traverse over the neighbors from this current node. So we can do for let neighbor of graph at current node. Okay, and if we have not visited this neighbor, then what we want to do is add this neighbor to our visited. And we want to update the distance. Okay, so any neighbor that we have, the distance from the source will be whatever the current distance is plus one, the distance from the node plus one. Okay, so we can do distance of neighbor is going to equal distance of cur node plus one. Okay, so our source node plus one. And then we can go ahead and push this neighbor onto the queue. Now what we want to do is we want to check if the distance from the neighbor is the same as the distance from the current node, then the graph is not bipartite. It means that we have a level order, a, 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 not a level order, a same level cross edge. Okay, so if we have um, distance of T and C, distance of neighbor equals distance of cur node, then we want to go ahead and return false. It is not bipartite. Okay, And if not, then we want to return true. Okay, Let's go ahead and run this. And yeah, we're good. Um, OK, so some things that I want to I want to go over is this this right here the distance of the neighbor equals the distance of the current node and what I would recommend is really stepping through and understanding why this line works the way it does okay um, uh, if, you, if you just use this graph with four nodes in it it's not too bad make some separate variables and really step through to make that clear because what we really want to check what we really want to make sure is that we don't have a cross edge in the same level Okay, and that if we have a cross edge in the same level, then we can also assume that the cycle is odd and we can assume that it's not bipartite. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed it and uh, I will see you on the next one.